Consulting Company, what, what we do is one and one thing only. We match up people with franchise opportunities that are a fit, a perfect fit with who the individual is. Fit, it's a tiny word, right? Huge implications. It is by far the single largest reason why so many people lose the shirt off their backs and their investment and walk away from a business several years later, calling it a failure. Why? Because there never was a fit between the business owner, his personality, his strengths, his weaknesses. We don't like to talk about weaknesses, but we all have them. Mm -hmm. So if we know what they are, we will try to put you in a business that does not require you to use your weaknesses to be able to grow the business. Does that make sense? Yes, if you go with a reputable, established brand. They have been around for many years. They have franchisees who are using their proven system and they are what? Making money. Why? They're following the playbook. You guys know how to follow playbooks. What is the second thing that you guys are kick ass at doing? Kick an ass. Kick an ass, baby. <laughs> Where's my candy when I need it? <laughs> yes. You guys know how to execute. You have a playbook and you know how to execute. Get the job done. In many instances, what's the other thing you guys do? Do you guys work in isolation by yourselves in a little room, in a little cubicle? Maybe sometimes. But you work with a team of people. In many cases, you guys have managed teams of people. Particularly when you start to think about scaling and growing your franchise, what do you need to do? Hire people. If you already have that skill set of being able to manage a team, do you think that might be helpful? Mm -hmm. But what exactly is a franchise, guys? What's a franchise? Why is it different model. from any other business? Say that again? A business model. What about the business model? It's already in place. It's structured in place. Model. You have to follow a specific... It's structured. It's already in place. It's, it's like already a, in place. You buy it, you're ready to go. What could they give you? What kinds of back-end services and support could they give you? Training. Training. Why is that important? You have to learn what you're going to do, what you're going to be involved with. With a franchise, you focus on what you are good at. I call these your superpowers. We all have them. Sometimes you don't like to acknowledge them, because that means, you know, we need to be fabulous and kick ass. But we do. We have superpowers. Here's what I do. I come in and I say, what are your superpowers? Let's talk about it. What was your position? What did you do? Oh, Faizun, I, um, I was in logistics. And I managed a team of seven. And I basically what I did was project management. I ensured that these discrete projects got done. Do you think there might be some skill sets in that? Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah? Typically, these are skill sets that we call transferable. I can take any one of your skill sets, everyone in this room, I can take your skill sets and I can parlay them into a completely different business model that you would never even have considered on your own. This is another beautiful thing about franchises. You don't need to go back to school to get another degree or to get additional certification. Before you open the doors to your franchise, your franchise is going to give you the training that you need. Part of why you pay the royalties. How many of you have heard of the VetFran program? What? Say that again? VetFran. Vet Anyone? Spell. <coughs> you have? Tell I haven't me. heard of it. I don't know much about it. I, I've just... It's, okay. It's a support for uh, vets. Spell it, please. V-E-T. Mm -hmm. Fran. Like franchise. F-R-A-N. Okay. Uh, yeah? VetFran. So you can Google it. The VetFran program was started in 1991, and our trade association body is the IFA, the International Franchise Association, and this is one of our signature programs. Through this program, you remember I talked to you about the franchises I work with who want more veterans into their system? This is the premier way we have of attracting veterans like you into franchises. We offer substantial discounts to veterans on the one-time franchise fee that you will pay to become a part of the franchise. So there's two things when you think about how much money are you going to be putting out. When you start a franchise, 
you're going to pay a one-time royalty fee, one-time franchise fee. Think of it as the price to get into the game, to be able to use the brand's logo, their brand identity, etc., etc. Yeah? Within the Vet Friend program, we have several hundred franchises. Not everybody participates, but we have several hundred brands that are part of Vet Friend, and they will offer significant discounts to you on that franchise fee that contact you. In addition, they provide mentoring, training, certifications. Think of it as continuing education once you become a franchisee. It's a fantastic program. It has gotten many franchisees into the system who are veterans, and it continues to do great work. So I always mention this because one of the things that we're going to get to, where people say, this is all great, it's all great information, but doesn't a franchise cost a million dollars? And the answer is yes, there are many that do. Many that cost upwards of a million dollars, but there are also hundreds that do not. They're in that 185 to 150, $250,000 range. For these franchises, there are different veteran funding programs that we have. Again, to be able to take into account your particular situations and to be able to get you comfortably into a franchise without breaking the bank. There are, there are about five or six really major categories of franchises. Right? You guys all know one, food, fast food. It's very popular. It can also get very expensive. Food, retail, wellness, fitness, senior care, staffing. There's a wide variety of franchises that you can get into. Many of these franchises, their entry point of investment can be anywhere between 65, 70,000 to 150,000. Typically, with any franchise, you will be expected to bring a third of the money, that's your money, to the table, and the remaining you can get as a loan. And there are different ways that you can finance that two-third portion. Typically, most of my clients come to me from these types of workshops. And they'll say, listen, I've been you know, getting ready to transition, looking for a business, don't really know where to begin, where to start. Here's what I've done. <coughs> these are my interests. These are my strengths. This is how much money I have. Can you help me find something? That's the starting point. From that place, the first thing that I do with a client is we will do a detailed consultation, during which I'm going to pull out your superpowers that we talked about. And in that first consultation that we will do, this is typical the second conversation actually, I'm building what's known as your business model. Your business model is, think of it as me walking into the meeting with a blank sheet of paper. And together, you and I, we are painting a picture of what your franchise looks like. Granular details. How much money do you want to spend? What kind of a location do you want? Do you want any employees down the road? How many? What kind of hours do you want your business to have? We get into the very specifics of what you're looking for. That becomes your business model. I take that, and then I go into my inventory of several hundred brands, and I pull out typically three franchises whose business models most closely match yours. Is this making sense? Yeah? It's a very step-by-step -step process, which I know you guys love. You like step-by-step, -step, so we do step-by-step. -step. After we've done the matching with the business model, I then introduce you to the three brands. They will reach out to you. They will begin that first conversation. Each brand will then take you what is called through a process of discovery. During this discovery process, which can be anywhere between 45 to 60 days, and you're speaking to the brands at least once a week, you're going to learn about their business model. How do they do marketing? How do they do communications? What kind of support do they provide you? How much does it cost? How much money in savings do you need to have in that first year of business? Because that first 12 months, anything can happen. They go through all of that. This is the process of discovery. Every week as you are speaking to them, you also have a call with me. I want to know that we are not jumping off the path. I want to know if we need to course correct. During your discovery process, things might change. You might say, you know, I originally thought that I wanted to spend 150000 These different things have happened in the past month. 
I think I would be more comfortable if you went down to maybe 100, 110. Would that be possible? Yes. That means I now make tweaks to your business model. And then I might start to give you different brands that fit the criteria of what it is you're looking for. Typically 45 to 60 days, at the end of which the franchise, one franchise typically rises to the top of the three. And you tell me why. Every week when we talk, you tell me why it is this is the one that you want to go with. At that point, the franchise will extend an invitation to you to come out to their corporate headquarters to meet with the team. Remember, this becomes your work family for the next 10 years. You want to know who they are. This is the last stage in this interview process. You best believe they're interviewing you just as much as you are interviewing them, right? You meet each other. Hopefully, you fall in love and you come back. And typically, my clients get excited and they say, I'm ready to sign the agreement. And I say, no, nope, time out. Let's take that franchise agreement and let's get it reviewed by an attorney. At the end of the day, it's a business contract. It's a legal contract. I am not an attorney, but I work with some of the best in the industry. And I will refer you to them. Once you've done the review and you like what you see, and you're ready to move forward, at that point you sign. You pay what? What's that one-time fee called? <coughs> franchise. The franchise fee. You pay the franchise fee, and you have officially now become a franchisee. That, in a nutshell, is the search process. It's very simple. It's very structured. It does not cost a million dollars. You will get support every step of the way. One of the key things I will mention to you, why does anybody want to go into business? Make money. make money. Yes, there may be other reasons, but make money primarily. Otherwise, why are you going to do this? There's a particular part in the search process where you are going to be reviewing what's known as the franchise's FDD. Anyone heard, heard of this term before? A franchise disclosure document. Google that as well. You'll fall asleep. If you're having troubles falling asleep, that will put you to sleep. <laughs> The FDD is a legal document. Just like the financial industry, franchising is a highly regulated industry. What does this mean for you, the client? It means every brand that I show you has been legally vetted by the US government, by the federal government, to be able to sell franchises to you. And as part of their vetting process through the Federal Trade Commission, which is the regulatory body, they're required to submit a franchise disclosure document every 12 months. Why do I bring this up? There are 23 sections to an FDD. Section 19, or item 19, is what's known as the earnings claim. This is where you find out, are the franchisees in this particular franchise really making money, or are you blowing smoke up my you-know-what? This is where you find that out. The beauty of this process is, when you finally come to a decision of yes or no, it is a decision that you've come to based on facts and figures, not preconceived notions, not stereotypes, not, oh, my husband's brother's friend said such and such a <laughs>